Hi my guys and welcome to another video, Take Signals back again with some 2042 news. EA and DICE have broke the silence about the state of Battlefield, finally had some news from them, they've posted an update and a tiny little roadmap of what's going to go on in the future. They've said, you've waited patiently to hear from us on what we're doing to address the issues with 2042 that you have told us about, and the direction you can expect us to see it take in the months ahead. Today we are starting our team's commitment to bring the game up to the highest standard that we all hold for the franchise. They go on to say, we have heard you, so we are heavily invested and committed to the future of 2042, working on taking action on multiple fronts to address feedback and implement extensive fixes to the game, key features that are important to you and getting team play to where it needs to be. Also, we've had to make some big decisions to ensure that our next set of updates can be focused on delivering these improvements, with the most substantial one being to move the release date of our first season to early summer. This decision gives us time to focus on improving 2042 experience while finalising the development of our seasonal content to ensure that this reaches our standards for quality. So as if waiting until February, mid to late February was long enough, now we've got to wait until summertime before season one kicks in, before we get any new maps or any major content changes so people were upset before i imagine this is going to upset the community a whole lot more i mean it's a long time but they have got a lot to fix in the meantime so let's wait and see where this goes i'm happy to say today's video is sponsored by visuals by impulse vbi is the place to go if you're looking for any stream graphics overlays stinger transitions alerts emotes badges even stream deck icons so you don't need no graphic designer or fiverr hit these guys up for the complete stream package absolutely everything you need in one place easy to download easy to install all the instructions are provided on the website great customer support use the link in the description for five percent off your orders cheers guys they also mention the update about the scoreboard that's coming in the next update this is supposed to be added, added as soon as possible so in the next update we'll be adding a refreshed in-round scoreboard alongside further changes we've worked on since the holidays this will be ongoing evolution from what was shown in the work in progress we shared recently some people may have seen that twitter post if not i'll stick it up on screen here for you so you can have a look um we have heard your feedback around including two tables and separating your own team versus the enemy team and are working on incorporating that for release also a kd scoring and end of round reporting will also be coming in a future update so we're finally going to get a kd a scoreboard that's going to show everything we need this is one feature in my opinion that should have been here from day one and it's pretty daft that it wasn't to be fair i mean if people don't want to see how bad they're doing don't look at the scoreboard simples don't be such a snowflake why spoil it for everyone else we need as much information as possible in this game something to aim for so level progression and all stuff like that it all counts man it all gives you playability it all helps you play the game if you're aiming towards something if you're just playing a dead game with no progression or no scoreboard to check your progress, see how your squad's doing. What are you supposed to do, man? PTFO for life, boys. Get to the top of that scoreboard, just like the Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5, old school days, man. Get your squad up there. That's what it's all about. For me, it's not just about beating the enemy team, but it's being better than everyone else on my team as well, man. Being the best squad in the game. Team play. It's what Battlefield has been about since day one. The squads, the way that the squads work and the way you PTFO together as a squad. That's what it has all been about. I think it'll help a lot of people out because you can't even play with your mates. I mean, squid squads and stuff like that. Squid squad? Squid. <laughs> Switch squads. Get my mouth in gear. Nice. I will leave a link in the description down there if you want to read the whole patch notes from the website themselves. But I'm just going through like the main topics of discussion, the important parts, as they say. Next, I'm pleased to say that we're finally getting VoIP, voice over internet protocol, means we've been chatting the game and stuff like that. It's all platform voice communication. The start of improvements we're bringing to enhance the team play and communication as well. It's about time. This has been since Battlefield 3, I think. Battlefield 4, we've had VoIP, so I don't know why it wasn't here in the first place again, but it wasn't. So they're adding that in. That's one of the things that need to go in as soon as possible, according to the website. There is also an update to the prayer profile, so we should have a better overview of our career on the battlefield and how far we have to go for our next unlock now for the team play we can expect them to incorporate a cleaner light at squad loop a redefined ping system and an improved reward loop for when you go and your squad play the objective hopefully this means as well that we'll get more points for long shots revenge kills avenger kills savior kills you know points per meter on sniper shots and more assists and a, a lot more xp available because at the moment it's you don't get many points for a snipe i mean even a snipe from across the other side of the map still only 50 xp it should be a hell of a lot more especially from distance while 
under fire and stuff like that. Look, 15 XP there for a sector defended. It's not a lot really, is it? You should be rewarded more, in my opinion. Help you level up faster, help you progress through the game, and just make it generally more enjoyable. Post continues by saying, the portal remains an integral part of the game and we'll, we will continue to expand its tools, modes, and tweak player experience gains. Finally, we have a team analysing specialists and are working on them. We're not quite ready to talk about the actions we'll be taking, but as soon as we are, you will hear from us. Just saying, nobody likes specialists. I'm not a huge fan of them myself, but I don't think I've met one single person in the Battlefield community that likes the specialists. Everyone, I mean, every single person on Twitter and Reddit since the game was released has always said, bring back the class system. We don't like it. What are you doing? Now, apparently they're listening to feedback and they're listening to the community. Take off the specialists, man. Bring back the class system. It's what the community want. <laughs> it's one of the biggest gripes in the game, especially the silly little things that they say after each game, like this cheese right here. Don't be sad. That's just the way it works out sometimes. Oh, yay. Angel's done it again. Shut up, man. Just shut up. Stop. Honestly, you're making my ears bleed. But I hate the end of the round because I know these stupid little quips are coming from the stupid little specialists and their stupid little one-liners. Just makes me want to snap my controller in half, man. Or launch it through the monitor and snap my keyboard over my own head. Because honestly, I've heard enough of it. He needs to stop. Please make it stop. Please. Begging. Please. <laughs> Another huge thing for me here when they say later this month the process will kick off with one of our key focus areas, map design. We want to outline to you our vision on how we're going to approach and factor into our new maps enhancements to the gameplay experience by addressing feedback on openness and lack of cover in key areas. I don't know if anyone else finds this frustrating, but if you look back as far as Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, the maps are quite in depth. These dark areas, light areas, these bits of cover... You know, there's no, like, massively, massive open grounds like there is now. When you jump in the desert, there's absolutely no cover between certain objectives. You've just got to run out in the open with your head sticking out. I'm over here. Come and shoot me in my face off top of one of the buildings because you legit can't move up from objective to objective. Obviously, you can use vehicles and stuff like that, and that does help. But there is no cover at all. The maps seem empty. I know they're built for 64v64, and I'm playing on the old Xbox. But even still, the maps just feel empty. Like, I'm just constantly running half my game between flags because, you know, PTFO is the main thing. So we need to get between the objectives without getting our headshot off 24-7. There needs to be more cover added in the game, more buildings, more trees, more rocks, whatever it takes. But there needs to be some more cover in the game. 100% agree with that. So really, really looking forward to see what comes out of this. Hopefully this means that they'll mess with the old maps as well, not just concentrate on the new DLC. I mean, the seven maps that we've got now is not enough. So if they can adjust them on the fly as well, that'll be even better because they are just a vast open wilderness. Dynamic weather's one thing, as you can see here, they've got the tornadoes and stuff. Where's the rain? Where's the snow and the wind and stuff like that? I mean, I want this map to be torn apart. I want this game to be ripped up like Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3. I know I keep going back to those games, but where's the destruction? I mean, the Battlefield 5 destruction, Battlefield 1 destruction, it was hench. You could take down buildings, campers would be hiding in the house, you could just blow up the whole house drop buildings, break dams, you know, game-changing warfare. In here, you can open up a few doors on a ship, knock a sign off the top of a building. I mean, come on, man, we want destruction. There's nothing I love more than just driving a tank through the enemy lines and just smashing every building on the objective to bits. It's one of the key things to be doing. Not to mention C4 and hand grenades and... Oh, man, dropping bombs out of planes and stuff like that and just destroying whole objectives and, again, changing the, the way the map's played out. You can also make holes in the ground for you to hide in to give yourself cover and stuff like that. You just can't do that in 2042. I miss it. I think everybody misses it. Bring back the destruction in a big way. We want destruction. Let the stress out, man. It's what's needed. It's good for the brain. It's good for my mentality. So as we look ahead towards season one that will arrive in the early summertime, it will mark the start of a new year where they will deliver four seasons, four new specialists and new locations along with more completely new content. Now they've also said we know that this release is later than anticipated for many of you purchased or upgraded to the year one pass as part of the golden ultimate editions and to acknowledge this. Here's a bunch of free stuff for you. You get a bunch of skins, player cards, weapons. So that's there for you guys that bought gold or ultimate just to say thank you. I don't know what the rest of us are supposed to do. Those peasants, but this is Battlefield, so we support it through the thick and thin. Hopefully they can get this sorted out. I'm looking forward to summertime, man. It's a while away, I know, but 
it is what it is and our hands are tied at the moment so we'll keep following the game we'll keep making videos like this and keep bringing you news and updates and we still live stream here on youtube and on twitch as well all the links are in the description down there feel free to sub and follow and also if you want to know anything about editing how i make these videos that you're watching right now feel free to also subscribe to the channel we are doing some little tutorials in davinci resolve 17 for absolute beginners we're still beginning ourselves so as we learn try to help you learn as well so feel free to sub to the channel for more content like this or like that that about wraps it up for me on this one guys so thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one cheers guys in the belly look yes and that's what i'm talking about